Hey there, soulmates. Her Souls underscore 23 here. We know what today is. It is Saturday, and it is the release of the Air Jordan Retro 5 Black Metallic. I received my phone call yesterday from Kids Foot Locker, so I got up and went and picked up my pair. The fir my first impression when I took the shoe out the box, I thought to myself, this is a very beautiful shoe. I don't have any flaws, any messed up threading or anything. So as far as I'm concerned on my pair, Jordan Brand did a very good job. There's one more thing that people were talking about the price of the shoe and a lot of people was passing because of it. And I'm quite aware that, did Jordan Brand really need to raise the price on the shoe? No, they didn't need to raise the price on the shoe, but it's a business. And sometimes when we want something, you go ahead and pay the price. It may be a little bit more than what you're used to, but if you really want something, go ahead and pick it up because you don't want to regret it later. That's just my particular opinion. So let's get into the shoe. Of course, we're going to start off the black laces here. Then we have the reflective tongue that has a red jump man. The lace lock here has Nike has Nike in clear. But one thing about the, uh, the kids lace lock and the men's lace lock is the men's on the lace lock here says, Nike where the kids has a jump man. I really don't like what Jordan brand does that but that's not something to die over Of course you have the black laces and this material on this shoe um, They said it's close to the 1990 pair. This is the fourth iteration of this particular color It first came out in 1990 So they said that material then was like a synthetic material or something like that Well, this is new, but what's whatever it is. It's really cool and I don't think that it's gonna catch and attract a lot of uh, dust and debris like the black, uh, what is it, the black grape fives does. Okay, then right here on the medial side, you have the, let me feel for it, <laughs> you have the, the clear netting here, of course. Only part about this, the bad part about this is that this, this does turn, start to turn yellow over time, but that's okay. And then of course right there, you have the iconic shark teeth in the black and the silver metallic. Overall, this is a beautiful shoe, and let's get to the part of the shoe that all the hoopla is about, and that is right there. There's a Nike Air on the back. I am happy to have this particular shoe in my collection. If I give up every other five, except for the 2008 countdown pack, <laughs> that this shoe definitely isn't going anywhere. Uh, just iconic, so I'm happy to have it. Underneath, you have the icy blue tint. A lot of people didn't like this as well. I think that it brings char character to the shoe. Then right here, we do have the Jumpman. And then on the kids pair, R says Jordan, whereas the men says Nike. I wish to have Nike all over the shoe, like I've stated before, but I'm not going to cry about that. This is a beautiful shoe, you guys, and I am very happy that I was able to pick it up. My insole is red as well as the men's are, and it does have Nike Air, and then, of course, it has the grade school sticker. So once again, you guys, I did not want to undead this shoe, but I'm going to do it for you guys. This is my quick, my quick look at the Air Jordan Retro 5 Black Metallic.